Hi, I'm Jory Karen from Jory Karen Opens Mail and Shit, and you're watching. I forgot everything else. Hmm. Hi, I'm Jory Karen from Jory Karen Opens Mail and Shit, and you're watching Heat Sinks with Ben Knowles. Ben Knowles. Ben Knowles. Ben Knowles. All right, you know what time it is again. It's time for the Heat Sinks Arcade. I am your fantabulous host. And uh, this week, we're not going to be playing any of the NES or Super NES or Dreamcast games or the Genesis or Sega Master System I picked up this weekend. No, we're not going to play those. Why? Because the good folks at Pinnacle Systems, maker of the Dazzle, uh, apparently their device here does not play nice with uh, Windows 8.1 and good luck using compatibility mode. I'm actually... Um, their software comes with its crap anyways. I wouldn't actually use it, but just trying to get the drivers to work, especially when you're using a software like, you know, FF uh, Split, which is what I use to have my pretty little face in this cute little box off in the uh, the corner somewhere. And we're actually going to make that box just a little bit bigger. No, actually we're not either, but hey, whatever. So what we're going to do is we're going to do some, uh, MAME, uh, some MAME arcade games because uh, those are quick and easy to emulate. Simple rules, two quarters, Total of six men, we use standard rules, standard number of lives, no cheats, uh, standard uh, extra lives at 10,000 points with Donkey Kong. Let's do this. There's our two quarters. And I make it clear now that I was actually badass at this game in the 80s and even into the early 90s, but I guess the newer games like Octodad and Five Nights at Freddy's have soured me. And by the way, I want to know what the hell the deal is with Pauline. It's like Mario, it's like love him and leave him, Mario. After this game, he goes fucks around with Donkey Kong's kid. Then uh, we don't see him again until the original Mario Brothers. He's playing in the sewer. I mean, it's not a good way to start if I shut the hell up and play the game. I'd get somewhere. But, you know, it, it just makes you wonder. Princess Peach, does she have like a like a scat fetish or something? Hmm. We'll just we'll save that thought for another day, kids. Let's see. And, and one thing I have noted... I think that there is a set number of patterns that the barrels follow, follow because I'm already two men into my first quarter and I, mean, I haven't gone I haven't even scored a point. And what do you bet the son of a bitch comes down that one? Let's see. Nope, it did not. Yeah, I think, uh, I don't think there is a random... Yeah, I don't, th I think we're going to be putting in another quarter. So we just dropped another quarter in the slot. <laughs> Normally the rule is two quarters, but I think in this case I, I deserve an extra one because let's just face facts once again, I suck. Okay, then we're on to Donkey Kong. If you've noticed, um, some of the new Nintendo lore says that the current Donkey Kong is actually Donkey Kong Jr. and that Cranky Kong was the original Donkey Kong just growed up. But my thing is if, all, if this is the case, shouldn't this be like Mario's child? You know, by the time we hit the new games like Super Mario Bros. Uh, U and... You know, you know, that kind of stuff. And see, there we go with the damn barrels coming down the ladders. You know, that's just part of the lore is that Cranky Kong is the old Donkey Kong, but, you know, the, the, it doesn't sound right. But it may be. Because this definitely doesn't look anything like the uh, necktie-wearing Donkey Kong that uh, the current generation of Nintendo uh, consoles talks about. So. And by the way, if you haven't played Super Mario or uh, Mario Kart 8, I've got this bad habit of calling it Super Mario Kart 8 because the last Mario Kart game this fat boy had was actually the original Mario Super Mario Kart on the uh, Super NES. So I mean, that's that's telling you it's been a long time. But if you haven't got it, haven't played it, it's badass. Once I figure out how to actually uh, record off HDMI into my computer, we will probably try to do some let's play with me playing uh, Super Mario Kart 8. Mario Kart 8. Whatever the hell that thing is. Um, the thing about this one is that you can go, a lot of people will tell you on this level, you can just go just straight across and just start hammering the hell out of them. Some people tell you go hit the right side, then go hit the left side, then go hit the right side, then go hit the left side. You know, all that crap. But, you know, I just, I, I go with whatever feels good at the time. <laughs> Gentlemen. So, you know. And see, this is this is when things are going to start to suck, because this guy, this guy has gone up a ladder, but actually I think it helped me, so. And notice how Mario is not standing on the platform, okay? He should have already fell down just like Donkey Kong did. Okay, Mario, yeah, you're in love with her. Love him and fucking leave him. Okay, we're not going to use that second quarter, I don't think. Well, yeah, actually, we probably will. I don't know yet. We 
you may not. If we get far enough in this game, uh, if we can get past this level, this level I really need to pay attention. This level and then the level with the little spring bouncy things, or once upon a time I think that we used to call it the Rivet Factory on the old Atari, the old Atari days. And if you've ever played the Atari 2600 version that Coleco put out, holy shit! I forgot that this is when we start zigzagging the barrels. But if you've ever played the version that Coleco made for the Atari 2600, it is absolutely the most atrocious game you have ever fucking played in your life. Now, is it better than Pac-Man for the 2600? Yeah, we'll be using that other board. Is it as bad as Pac-Man for the 2600? Absolutely not. Is it as bad as E.T.? Absolutely not. Is it a Yars Revenge quality game? Hell no. We'll throw my initials in just for fun. Actually, that's not right, but you know, what the hell ever. Because you can't go up and down. You can only go left and right. So, thanks, Nintendo. Oh, one more time. Three men up the ladder we go. And I like how you see Donkey Kong's ass crack when he goes up the ladder. It's just like, yeah, okay, so for all you uh, furries out there, and animal lovers... I guess I better be nice to my uh, furry fan base. I actually know quite a few of them. So. <laughs> and uh, hopefully here in the next few weeks, too, uh, we're going to try to get some people to collaborate with me on a few things just to try to uh, try to try to get some, some of the numbers up, try to get some of the viewership numbers up, try some different things like getting hit on the head with a fucking barrel. Bloody hell. Uh, Joy Karen, uh, who used to host uh, Is It a Good Idea to Microwave This, is actually... Uh, done a couple of things uh, for me um we're gonna try to talk to uh, brad jones aka the cinema snob you are probably sitting there thinking okay what is your deal with this guy because you talk about him a lot no actually i just like what brad does i think he does a very creative job with uh i think he does a, you know he's very creative i think his his way of taping things is great i think his content's great he's got kind of a snarky quirky attitude and um you know, what most people don't know is I did public access in the 90s, had a couple of Cable Ace award-winning shows back when they used to do all that crap. So, But it's never the same uh, when, you, when you've when you had to do it the hard way like that, because that's how I was raised. I mean, I was raised, you know, having to edit stuff on tape. You know, we didn't have, we didn't have Avids, we didn't have Sony Vegas, you know, we didn't have Pinnacle Dazzle Boxes, we didn't have any of that crap. You know, we had whatever the cable company gave us, which a lot of times was broken down three-quarter inch decks, and that were so broken down that we just said, screw this, and actually went and bought our own. I'm not going to get very far on this level. We're going to have to have a, a part two of this Let's Play, because this one is... God, I suck. Maybe I can get enough points to get a free man, but I'm not, I'm not counting on it. That's 5,000, you know, 4,300 points. All right, we're going to try it this way if I can get all the way up there. It's actually really hard for me to play this with a uh, Xbox 360 style controller. Holy shit. And see, that's the thing about these guys. I don't know... I don't know what their AI is, is set like. Their AI is actually really good. Okay, that's it. Screw this. Screw you. And screw you. What we're going to try to do is if we can get that bleeping hammer out of there. And you know, one thing I would actually like to see is I would actually like to see Nintendo remake some of the classics. Kind of like, you know, how they did with, uh, I may be so screwed. I may be so screwed. Nope. I'm still alive. I'm still in it. I'm in it to win it. I think we're good. I think Donkey Kong's going down and you're down, baby. Am I going to get very far with the next life? Oh, hell no. I wonder how, Don once again, how the fuck did Mario get from, like, the third level off the edge of the thing up to the top to his, uh, you know, broken-hearted bitch? Because he's going to leave her. It's just a matter of time. Mario is going to leave her ass. I didn't grab the hammer fast enough to run. Okay, so there will be a uh, Let's Play Part 2 of Donkey Kong because I can't just leave you hanging with how bad I really am. Uh, didn't get a high score, but we're just going to throw AAA in there, which we all freaking know I'm not. Oh, okay, so I can do that. And there you go. So, if y'all got any ideas for main games you want to see, let me know. Um, I'm slowly building up my Nintendo and Super NES library. My Dreamcast library is is, is getting there, mainly because you can just burn the discs. I'm not a fan of doing that, but since... 
the manufacturers are no longer producing these games. I'm kind of mixed on my feelings about it. Um, I know a lot of people think it's still piracy, and kind of is, but we're not. We're not going to talk about that today. But anyways, if you've got any ideas on games you want me to play, stick them down in the comments below. And as always, rate, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Please subscribe. We're going to try to start some new things up. A uh, new edition of Heat Sinks Tries will be coming out every other Wednesday starting tomorrow, November 19th. Uh, we took a week off due to uh, some technical glitches with the Halloween episode, which still pisses me off. So anyways, as always, thanks for watching.